Well, thanks a lot, guys. Well, Paul, sometimes we fib. Sometimes we promo something, say pitchers duel, pitchers duel, pitchers duel, and it just doesn't turn out to be that way. It did today. It lived up to the billing. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, we said that these are the two premier pitchers in the American League, and they both pitched like it today. I mean, it was no overshoot saying it was a heavyweight bout, my, Michael. I mean, it was, and you just couldn't figure out how this game was going to come about. And in that fifth inning, two big swings in the bat gave Garrett Cole enough, and uh, Loiza closing it out. Good things are happening for the Yankees. You know, three, four days ago, we were wondering how they were going to turn this around. Well, so far in this series, they played really good baseball. You know, it's interesting. You watch you watch Garrett Cole, Paul, and, and he's such a perfectionist, and you can see he was not thrilled uh, through the first couple of innings with the way he was throwing some of his pitches. He didn't like the execution. Shows you how good he is because throughout all that, he strikes out 11, doesn't walk anybody, but you could tell still not totally t satisfied. Well, early in the game, I mean, you, you said it. I tried to talk about it a little bit. He had great stuff, good curveball, good changeup, power fastball, but he was missing with location. By the middle of the game, he started to find that location, and it's still he carries his fastball from, uh, you know, from first pitch to the 110th pitch. He, he has that type of power. He got better control as the game went on, and he was just in total control of the Cleveland Indians tonight. Now, the Yankees obviously had to get six outs out of a bullpen that didn't have the back end of the bullpen because they've been pitching in the last couple of games. There was no Chapman. There was no Green. They've been so effective. The whole bullpen has been effective, but Justin Wilson came on to get two outs, and you mentioned this toward the end of the broadcast. Jonathan Wysoka comes on to get four outs. Those are four high-leverage outs. You're saving a game for the ace of your team. You're trying to win three games in a row for the first time, and Wysoka picks up his first big league save. He did. First of all, Wilson, he had a 3-0 count with the man on base and ended up getting an out. That was a huge out when it came out, you know, when, when he got that. And then Loisega, I thought Higgy did a great job in the ninth inning. Once he got there, he went to two pitches. There were no sliders. There was a power fastball and a changeup, and that was it. Nothing else to confuse or to miss with, and that's the way you do it as a closer. You don't need to show everything. When you throw 97-98, Loisega should be proud of himself tonight because he showed he can get big outs in big situations all right so let's talk some offense and the Yankees yesterday with four home runs today with two home runs and we'll start with Aaron Hicks Paul bottom line is Hicks has not hit from the left side you know he's a better player than what he's shown so far this year especially from the left side he needed that home run it was a big home run because immediately the Yankees tied the game up well, it seems like everybody's starting to, to just walk in line. I mean, you had the huge night last night from Stanton, and uh, all of a sudden the balls are starting to leave the ballpark. A lot of people are saying Odor's uh, kind of, you know, injecting some energy into this team. Maybe that's what they need. I don't know. But from when they left Yankee Stadium, we were scratching our head. How could this team be this bad with this much talent? Now, all of a sudden, you know, you're seeing three games in a row for the first time of the year, and you're thinking this is what we expected. And, you know, we got a lot of baseball left. They have a lot of time to do great things. And finally, Paul, they're going for a sweep tomorrow. And you've always told me, a lot of players have told me, Nothing tougher than a four-game set to win it, and the Yankees have already done that with the victory tonight. But, boy, if you can get out of Cleveland and take all four games and head to Baltimore, where you've always played well, that would be a huge win for the Yankees tomorrow, and Jamison Tyone will be on the mound. Yeah, and also, the, you know, you beat their ace tonight. I mean, that's the one thing that when you come into this series, you're thinking that's the question mark. But when Garrett Cole's on the mound, it's never a question mark. So, you know, you do have an opportunity. And coming into the series, I said, you know, you need to beat the teams that you're supposed to beat. The Yankees on paper should beat the Cleveland Indians. So you're at a point where you got off to such a rocky start that you're going to have to put some kind of streak together. Why not sweep this team and then go on to Baltimore? Well, the Yankees had a homestand that, you know, that's not the way they planned it out. Uh, they, they won just one game. They didn't look good. The offense didn't look good, looked sloppy in the field. And now, tomorrow, they could go for a sweep of the Indians, and obviously that could turn things around in a hurry, Bob.